This is a great article by TFT Hacker talking about Obsidian outlining and uses a couple of plugins that I want to go through today. The community plugin outliner is the main one discussed and the main one I'm going to go through, but the zoom plugin is also mentioned. The zoom plugin has pretty much no settings. And for Outliner, if you want any of the features, you actually have to turn them on. So you can turn them all off, but then there's no point using the plugin. So first, inside of Obsidian, this is the core Obsidian, and we have Smart Indents in the settings. So going to the Editor Settings tabs and going down to the Smart Indent automatically sets indentation and place list items correctly. So if I have a bulleted list, I bullet, then Enter, it then adds a new line. If I push Tab, it then moves it across appropriately. And if I have a numbered bullet list, so number... It then changes to number two, and then when I tab in, it then goes back to number one, so one, two, and then 2.1 essentially. When you're typing, you can also indent without a bullet point. So if I was to tab now, you can see even though there's no bullet point, I still have indents. However, if I then have a line in between that, so if I shift enter to create a new line and then there's new text, you can see there's this uh, different looking text. And that's essentially because Obsidian doesn't know what to do with this because it's not indented underneath anything because this is a blank block. Whereas if they're actually bullet points, you can see you've got bullet point, bullet point, and this is empty. But because it's a bullet point, it knows what it's meant to be. You can use tab to tab indent and also shift tab to out indent. I guess that's a thing, out indenting. Yeah. Again, inside of the editor settings, you can fold heading and fold indent and turn both of them on. And what that means is when you have an indented line, if you hover over the first line, you can see there's an arrow. You can click it and then it toggles or closes whatever the indent is so you can open and close and you can see there's the the three dots which unfolds everything and if i had a heading at the top you get the same option so i can fold everything inside of the heading and unfold it just like that and something else dft hacker mentioned is inside of the search so once you've searched for something i've already done it so i'm looking for the word folding which is in this line you can see it's actually showing up here and when i open up the search that's the line and if i want to i can then expand the context so I can see the indented line underneath the search and I can expand the context further and actually see the entire file if I wanted to but uh, that's going a bit too far and for reference if you do want to close this back down go up into the options and then you can see show more context so I can tick that on and then tick that off and now it's all gone a hotkey that I personally use all the time you can see move up and move down which is still in core I change this to control and then up and down arrow keys is moving lines up and down so this is line three going up and down and it makes life much much easier and you can also do this when you've highlighted two lines so three and two above one and three two below one so it works and you can find that by going into the hotkeys and the settings typing in line and you got move line down move line up and you can see down and up now that I turned on outliner you can see there is a different look with the bullet, so turned off and turned on, so you can see the bullet looks different. Something else is you can't actually backspace a bullet. So when I'm right next to the bullet, if I backspace, it takes me up the line. It doesn't turn the edit view into a preview, so if I tap that again, you can see it's in here. Whereas, if I'm in Core Obsidian and I go before the new and I go backspace, you can see it's, it's changed the formatting, so it's just a dash. It's no longer a bullet, so I have to push space to turn it back into a bullet, which can be a little bit cumbersome. One of the main reasons I don't actually use bullets inside of my text. Now, when we look at the outliner hotkeys, we've got the fold list, which is the same as the core, but then we have indent the list and sublists, move list and sublist down, move list and sublist up, outdent list and sublists, show the release notes and then unfold the list. So it's the and sublists that really makes the difference. So you can see I'm on line three. If I use the core hotkey, control up, it just moves the line three up and then line three down. If I use the outliner, control shift up, it moves everything and the sublist, so four and five going up and down as well. And then if I tab three across, it's now tab three and four and five with it. And then the same with the shift tab. So it outdents and indents all of the sublists as well, which core doesn't do. And then going to enable the indentation line setting. And you can change what this setting does. So you can see the vertical indentation. If you click it, it can do nothing. Toggle the folding or zoom in. So at the moment, if I go onto the line, you can see it's going to open or close those things inside of the bullet. Now, by changing it to zoom in alone, it doesn't actually do anything. You can see I can click it and it, it, it doesn't do anything. But when I turn on the zoom community plugin and then click on a line, you can see it's now in line one. And if I click on this line, it's now in line three and I'm only seeing things in line three. So if I come in here 
add line six. I've added line six underneath line three, and I'm just seeing the line three. I can then go line one or go all the way back out to the file, and you can see added it in the file. So nothing's changed. You're just zooming in or zooming out to a certain part of this file. When going to hotkeys and typing in zoom, you've got the default zooms, but inside the zoom plugin, you can also zoom out the entire document and zoom in. And that's where I can go onto the heading and then go control shift comma because that's hockey. And now I'm just looking at the heading and with the outliner, I can then go in further. So if I was to add a subheading, if I want to go into there, I can go control shift comma. And now I'm in the outliner. If I want to just have a look at this subheading, I can go into there. And now I'm just looking at the subheading. <laughs> then if I want to go into a line, I go into the line. We also have an experimental feature, which is dragging and dropping bullet points. Now this has literally just come out. So if you click and drag, you can see the line. It then takes it to wherever you're dragging a point. So I'm dragging five into one. You can see it's now moved five into one. If I move five into six, it's going to move it underneath six, et cetera, et cetera. So it gives you dragging and dropping options. It's still highlighting all of the text at the moment. I assume that's a bug that will be fixed in the future, but I thought it'd be worth noting. I am personally not an outliner person, so I don't use either of these plugins. And that's because I prefer to list out full length text and I don't use the bullet points like ever. And all future information will be linked in the related article in the description below.